okay dear students so this is the question about magnetic magnetism about the directions so that is why i have written quite some things already on my screen as you can see let us uh, read the question a beam of electron uh, moves uh, between the poles of the magnet as shown what is the direction in which the electrons will be deflected in these kind of questions we use or every book is talking about the flamings right hand rule and left hand rule so right hand rule is used in these kind of questions left hand rule is used for um, sorry left hand rule is used here right hand flamings rule is used for induction but i refrain from using the flamings hand rules because they are quite confusing so instead of uh, flamings uh, hand rule i use right hand palm rule this is a very very easy rule instead of uh, the flamings hand rules so you can search these things on google and you can learn more about right hand palm rule which is very easy comparatively here i'm just going to explain you this thing that this rule is used uh, in three different types first is to find the direction of a magnetic field due to a current so when you study that a current is used to produce a magnetic field and we need to find the direction of the magnetic field that was produced with the help of current so we use this rule that is type 1 in type 2 we use direction of the force on the moving charges and current carrying conductors so in type 2 we find the force on the charged particles which are moving through the magnetic field which this question particularly talks about and the type third of the right hand palm rule is to to find the direction of the induced current so in this question we are concentrating on two all these three rules type 1 type 2 and type 3 are different so you have to be very careful about that but uh, instead of flaming uh, rules i prefer using these so let us see i am going to explain you the rule number 2 now so let us use our right hand now what is happening is that on our fingers will be the magnetic field so we have to point towards the magnetic field it is towards you it is towards me it is uh, towards right or towards left so my fingers will be pointing towards the magnetic field you just imagine that this magnet is placed on your table just imagine that it's placed here and then you just try to point your fingers accordingly so my fingers will be in this direction that is Uh, towards right my fingers will be towards right and <clears throat> okay and what about the thumb thumb will show the direction of the motion of the positive charge but now in this case they are using electron which is negatively charged so electron is going into that side but positive charge will be assumed in the opposite side so in this rule i am pointing my fingers towards right and my thumb is pointing out of the book it is pointing towards me because the positive charge is coming out of the book now okay i hope you understanding so positive charge is this this is my thumb like this and my fingers are pointing towards right and thumb is pointing towards me this is how you need to keep your hand so where is your palm looking your palm is looking upside upwards so our answer will be d students i tell you this is the chapter of magnetism and the main uh, topic here is finding the directions of forces and induced current and magnetic field and others and it becomes really very difficult to teach this topic online but if you are very particular about this if you listen to me carefully try to apply your hands properly you will um, you you will get what i am saying so this is type 2 that i have discussed now right hand palm rule please watch my video twice or thrice to understand this properly i am sure you would be able to use this rule very easily you would be able to answer these kind of questions every time very easily from now onwards so with this all the best bye please do let me know in the comment section if you like the video or otherwise also please do comment all the best bye